The power of investing in properties from early on. Slow money is the best money. That's what I believe. I actually said that to a man about 10 minutes ago on the phone. So boom, you know I do this electrical testing thing in Northampton. Met one of the tenants, big woman, black woman, cool lady and that. Chatting to her and she could see that man's got my head screwed on. And basically her partner's setting up some kind of community meeting for us black people then. Um, that's you know currently residing in Northampton and that. So she said, yeah, basically I'm gonna put you in touch with my partner and that. And basically, yeah, we want you to come to our meetings and that when it starts. So last week was the first one, and I was up for going to it. The man told me, yeah, you know, about two three days before, yeah, I'm gonna send you the details and that so you can pass through. So I said, cool with it. Where did my man phone me up to see where I was? 15 minutes into the meeting start. Typical black man, innit? But it's cool, innit? What happened was he thought he sent it to me because he thought he added me to the group chat, but I didn't get added to the group chat and that. So a man didn't end up going to the first initial meeting, innit? But I'm going to one now. Um, it's about two hours before the meeting's supposed to start and that. And I thought to myself, you know what, yeah? Before I waste my time going down there, because I might be stepping into something that you get me? I don't understand what's actually going to be taking place. Let me phone him and find out what this meeting is really about. And the command said he wants to get people together and that. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, meet new people. I don't mind doing that. Isn't it? Um, but obviously, I phoned him and I said to him, yo, what type of meeting is this? Is it one of them pyramid schemes or um, crowdfunding or partnering thing? But I'm not on that. And he said, no, 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 it's not one of them. Because I said to him, I had people tell me, yeah, come to this meeting and that, isn't it? Yeah, this uh, conference or some nonsense and that. Turn up there and it's on pyramid scheme and that. Where's my Ross Clark time? He said, no, 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 it's not that in it. Yeah, it's cool. And I said, yeah, because slow money is the best money. That's what I believe in it. I don't believe in this get quick uh, rich scheme nonsense and that. You're going to fall flat on your face. That, and that's why a lot of people don't believe in investing in property in that because there's slow returns and that. See, certain people, they void the idea of investing in properties and that because they don't get quick results like that. It takes a long time to get a deposit, um, to save up a deposit, to buy that, to buy a property and that. Man will rather spend it on stupidness. But man don't really understand the power of investing in properties from early on and then see what it actually turns into. So basically, my girl's a um, mortgage advisor, isn't it? So sometimes, obviously, when I'm in my yard and that, she's here working from my yard and I'll turn up and that and I'll listen into her calls and that. She might do a Zoom meeting or just a mobile phone call and obviously it's on last speaker and that and i'll be listening and that and um yeah one guy um he bought a property and let's say 20 years later which is now it's gone up in value so much like 150 grand he can actually pull out and borrow 150 grand he's in a position to buy four to five properties with this 150 grand i was thinking yeah blood this this is what it's about yeah, this is a good idea, you know what I'm saying? Buy a property and then wait 20 years and that. Then you could pull out 150 grand and buy four to five properties in that. But then I actually questioned it myself. You know, me and my man, I think of stuff, you know, like I think of an idea and then I also think, mm, what's a good, what's, what's the advantage, what's the disadvantage of this idea sometimes, isn't it? And I thought to myself, do you know what? If you buy a property and it goes up in value 150,000 over the next 20 years, if you can borrow 150,000, if you can get four to five properties out of that, I'm not even gonna uh, bore you with the numbers and that, but let's just say, for example, a man bought four to five properties, he had to put down 25,000 to 30,000 deposit for all these four to five properties and that. A man could generate a rental income from four properties, 3,200 a month, or from five properties, about four grand a month. And I thought to myself, imagine having to borrow 150,000 to then put down all this money and your rental income, your monthly accumulation of rental income from these four to five properties is gonna be a maximum of four grand. I'm like, to borrow 150 grand, to then only make that four grand in return a month, I mean, it's good, but it ain't that good. But then I thought to myself, what else is there to do with 150 grand? You see, some people, if they have a property and it goes up in value by 150 grand, the, the only thing you could think to do with that money is buy nonsense. AP watch, trips to Dubai, uh, brand new Mercedes and that, or Jaguar F-Type R. 
So you know what, it is a flipping good idea to borrow 150,000 pounds and buy four to five properties and have a maximum rental income of four grand. All depends on what area, how much the property is worth, all that kind of nonsense and that service charges and that, the way you're gonna run it, if you're gonna do rooms, if you're gonna rent out the whole property and that. But I'm just using rough numbers, numbers that I know is possible because I have a property, I'm in the process of buying the next one and that. Some people will say, ah, oh, imagine pulling out and borrowing 150,000 to only have a rental income of 4,000 pounds per month from the four to five properties and that. But at the same time, what else would you do with 150,000? See, there's only a certain amount of money you need in this life, really and truly. Anything extra is because you want to do nonsense. You do not need to be a billionaire. The people then that have the drive to be uh, uh, be worth uh, uh, 10 million and that, or 50 million and that, it's because they're not thinking about oh, um, accumulating 50 million so that they can pass down money to their, their kids and that, and their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. No, these people that want to earn and accumulate 50 million is so they can buy a, a bunch of nonsense. A yacht. What the hell you need a yacht for, blood? What the hell do you need a flipping uh, Lamborghini SUV? I'm not saying, listen, if I had the money, you get me, I would spend money on them teaks there and that, yeah, but it's all in moderation and that. There's certain people out here, if they, got in, if they came into £150,000 or they could borrow that money and that, they would just spend it on pure nonsense, blood. So, yeah, if my property is in that, went up by £150,000 in 20 years, yeah, I would take that money out and buy more properties and that. Obviously, this individual who is in a position to borrow £150,000 right now, he's probably not got an entrepreneur, well, I know he's not got an entrepreneurial mindset when it comes to this property thing, because he wouldn't just have one residential property that's gone up by £150,000. At this stage, he would have been sitting on 10, 15 properties easily. Because what you do is you buy one property, you wait for the value to go up, you borrow against that and buy another property. And then when the value of both of those go up, you buy more properties. And next thing you know, there's a snowball effect in that. Plus, saving money. Yeah, saving money from your income. And also putting down on other properties in that. This property thing, this one man holler about this property thing. I'm telling you, you can become a millionaire off of it. Not in 70 years as well. Yeah, anyone can become a million, millionaire by the age of 90 years old. Isn't it? We're trying to become a millionaire or millionaires, you know, in, in a lifetime, within 20, 30 years and that. It's possible. You've got to be smart. But if you're the type of man or girl watching this right now and you prioritise wearing a Rolex watch, I'm telling you, you will be broke, blood. I know, man. I see, man, on the internet. AP watch, Rolex watch and that. These guys are going to be broke, blood, because their mind is not in the right place. You know, to buy a property, it's a mindset thing, you know. It's not about, oh, saving money and everything. It's a mindset. It's, I could spend this money on jewellery, clothes, holidays and trips and cars. But you know what? I would do without those five things, delayed gratification, so that I have enough money to put down on a property which is more important buying a property is not just a transactional thing oh yeah save up this money and then put it down there it's not like buying a car it's a mindset it's oh i could have better things i could enjoy my life more but you know what buying a property is more important there's a lot of dumb people in this world that would rather buy clothes and watches and go on trips and that so even watching that stupid, um, well, it's not actually stupid, it's actually a good series as well. That 90 Day Fiance, season 9. I beg you go check that out. I was telling my mum, there's one, one black girl, well, mixed race you, in the program. Um, he's gone broke, basically, but he spent about £40,000 taking trips to Serbia to go see this gal. I told my mum that. She said he could have bought a property with that. I said, thank you. Some of these people are just dumb. Some people ain't got no minds, no sense, blood. How are you spending 40 grand on taking trips and that to end up in square one? End up at square one. People just live for the moment, man. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, 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 all these trips and where, 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 where. Then what? Then what, my brother? Then what? You know, <laughs> obviously you don't even see it in it, yeah? This 90 day fiance thing. This guy spent 40 grand going on trips and all this nonsense and that. 
But the guy is still back at his mother's yard. He's living at his mum's yard. The man didn't even have his own vehicle to go and pick up his girl from the airport. The man had to drive his dad's pickup truck to go and pick up his girl. Man, I'm, man, I'm got their priorities mixed up, you know. There's man out here putting money down, 20 grand, 30 grand on an AP watch and that, but their youth is living in a council house. That don't make no sense, fam. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready to go to this little group meeting and that. Um, yeah, keep it up posted how, 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 how it went and that. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be nothing amazing, obviously, but it's good to meet new people and that, and get me share ideas and that. Because I wouldn't have the ideas that I have in my head if it weren't for watching YouTube or meeting people. And you know what? A lot of these videos, I see things, I hear things. I might be in a tenant's house and. One of the tenants the other day made, it gave me an idea to make a video. She didn't tell me this, but she was having a conversation. And basically, her son was getting bullied, so that she took him out of the school. And that. got in my car afterwards, and I made a video about fighting fire with fire, and it, yeah, stand up to bullies and that. So yeah, it's good to speak to new people, go to new places, and that you get different ideas and that, man. You ain't gonna get nowhere in life if you just keep yourself in one area. Imagine, imagine a man who's lived in Tottenham for fifty years. From the age of 0 to 50. You think that's a man that's made something of himself? Anyway, stay wise, done.